Hey everybody, I just want to let you guys know that our current studio is really empty and the acoustics are really good in here and it's raining really hard. So I'm going to try to cover it by using a rain background for this video. I'm sorry about the background noise. I'll do the best I can to remove it. Anyway, enjoy the video. For kids in the 1980s, they didn't have the internet, cell phones, Kindles, or books online. If you want to read something besides what's in your house or something you borrowed from a friend, you'd have to trek all the way to a building called a library. In that library, you could find hundreds of books on many fiction and non-fiction topics. But why would you be interested in doing this? Well, you might have seen the topic of today's quickie, the character that understood the importance of reading and using your imagination to travel on his exciting literary adventures. And with that, what's up everybody and welcome back to Macabre Gorham Labs presents School of Boredom Quickies. My name is Bats, and I'll be your guide today as we explore Captain O.G. Readmore, because reading is an adventure. Hilarious! <laughs> but it's easy, and it's great for any weather. Read a book tonight, you'll see I'm right. <laughs> reading is so together. Captain O.G. Readmore was a fictional anthropomorphic cat puppet invented by Puppet Studio and voiced by the legendary and MGL favorite, Frank Welker. The show was produced by ABC Entertainment in association with Rick Reinhart Pictures, located in the offices of Burbank, California. We were first introduced to the captain hosting the ABC Weekend Specials from 1984 through 1989. The ABC Weekend Specials aired from 1977 to 1997 and were a children's anthology series that I am sure Bass will cover in future videos. The captain was dressed in a captain's outfit complete with a hat, red coat, blue pants, his book bags, and umbrella, and all he wanted to do was teach children that not only is reading fun, but they could do it for their own enjoyment and not just for school. During his time on ABC Weekend Specials, he was visited by a number of celebrities such as Joan London, Pat Morita, and Vincent Price just to name a very few. And in addition to the puppet, there was also an animated version of the captain. The animated version had some shorts that introduced the all-feline Friday Night Book Club. The book club would make jokes about characters and how they wouldn't have made the same mistakes as the characters did. I can think of a couple YouTube channels that do the same thing. The book club was held in the alley next to the public library and introduced other members of the book club, like Kitty Literature, voiced by Eileen Later. She loves romantic fairy tales, cat fashions, and is the only female member of the group. She's a white and gray cat that wore a dress and a polka dot bow on her head. Lickety Page, voiced by Lucille Bliss. Lickety is a brownish tan cat with a sideways baseball cap and is the youngest and smallest member of the club. He likes to point out the flaws and foolishness that occur in fairy tales. Wordsy, voiced by Will Ryan and Stan Jones, is a light brown cat that is the nerdy type. He's the one who's really smart and you can tell because he wears glasses. Old Tome Cat voiced by Stan Jones. He's a tall, older, sophisticated cat, complete with a suit, bow tie, and a cane. He's one who definitely loves Shakespeare. The club meetings resulted in five 30-minute specials that would have the book club making jokes about characters from their favorite fairy tales. Hang on, Bass. It is important to note that the voice of O.G. Readmore for these specials was Neil Ross. And I'm glad you pointed that out, but we do gotta move forward. The characters in the books are not happy with the club thinking they didn't know what they were doing, so they would pop out of the stories and basically pull the cap and crew inside of the books to make them go through the stories themselves. However, this taught the valuable life lesson. Before you judge anybody else, be sure to walk a mile in their shoes. These messages. We'll be right back. Captain O.G. Readmore here. If you're packing up a picnic or heading for the beach, here's some instant entertainment that's always right in reach. You can hike it, you can bike it, you can swing it on your back, and it's right there where you need it when you're ready to relax. Yes, it's instant entertainment. <laughs> any place and any 
any day. So no matter where you're going, <laughs> don't forget your book, okay? <laughs> and now, back to the show. And the five episodes consisted of Captain O.G. Readmore's Jack and the Beanstalk. We're not really going to explain what this is, but it's their take on Jack and the Beanstalk, as will be the case with the rest of these entries. Captain O.G. Readmore meets Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Captain O.G. Readmore meets Red Riding Hood. Captain O.G. Readmore's Puss in Boots. Captain O.G. Readmore meets Chicken Little. Interestingly, only four of these episodes were made available in 1990 by Beacon Home Video. However, these are very, very hard to find. We couldn't find any for sale, even on eBay. It also doesn't help that the fifth episode, Chicken Little, was not officially released on any video formats here in North America. But we here in North America weren't completely lost because in 1993, ABC released the first three episodes. Our research also found that as of 2023, these special episodes were found on DVD, but mainly in North Korea. All is not completely lost though, as you can watch all of them here on YouTube. And unfortunately, we ran out of time for this School of Boredom Quickie. I've been your guide, Bats, and today we took a look at Captain O.G. Readmore with Reading is an Adventure. Be sure to check back next time because you never know what we have in store. And as usual, think for yourselves, be excellent to each other, and of course, keep it creepy. And for love of God, read a book. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. If you enjoyed this one and would like to see more of our weird, creepy, odd, eccentric, or strange content as soon as it comes out, please feel free to click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more. We'll see you later. Keep it creepy.